When making decisions in code, it's common to use an if statement or a series of if-else statements. An alternative to this can be the switch statement. A switch statement is a more streamlined conditional that's used when you want to compare a single variable to a series of constants. A common use of switches is to make decisions based on enumerations or enums. Consider a game where a character's conversation options were based on their intelligence. You could set those options using a series of if-else statements, but that could quickly get cumbersome. Instead, we can use a switch statement to more easily implement our solution. Here, we have a script called conversation. In this script, we will implement a function that will allow a character to give a greeting based on their intelligence. First, we will create an int for our character's intelligence. We'll set this to equal 5. For the purpose of this example, let's say that intelligence ranges from 5 being the highest to 1 being the lowest. Next, we'll create a function called greet, which will use a switch statement to output a greeting based on the character's intelligence. The syntax for a switch statement starts with the keyword switch, followed by the variable which it will be comparing in parentheses. In Visual Studio, it's possible to quickly create switch statements using snippets by typing SW and then hitting tab. You can also type the name of the variable that the switch will evaluate, and for certain variables like enums, it will autofill the cases of the switch, which is really helpful. In this case, we will be comparing our intelligence variable. We follow that with some open and closed braces. Inside the braces, we need to define a series of cases. These cases are the constants that we are comparing our variable against. To create a case, we use the keyword case, followed by our constant and a colon. As you can see, we're starting to define what the character will say if they have an intelligence of 5. Let's print out a greeting that someone of high intelligence might give. As I am not of particularly high intelligence myself, I'm going to guess. That seems about right. After the instructions for each case, we need to include something called a jump statement. The most commonly used jump statement for switches is break. This is a keyword that jumps the code execution out of the switch so that none of the subsequent cases are executed. You can think of break working similarly to the return keyword. But whereas return most commonly is used in functions, break is used in switches and loops. After encountering a break, code will continue execution after the block of code it is in. In our situation, since the break is inside of a switch, after it's encountered, execution will continue just after the switch. Let's put in a couple more cases with phrases of decreasing intelligence. For our final case, we will want to catch everything that doesn't have a case of its own. To do this, instead of using case, we use another keyword, default. Since this should be for any case that hasn't already been covered, it doesn't need a value. Other than that, we treat it as we would any other case. Think of default as being similar to the else in an if-else statement. Just like else, default covers any situation not caught by a preceding conditional.